What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. This week, buys Prize Picks, but also other player prop websites out there. And we're going to go ahead and dive into this slate. Yesterday, was able to cash both of the plays that I did post. That puts us now at a 7 and 2 run for NBA in these Prize Picks NBA videos. So, also over on Patreon, we've been having some great days. Five out of the last seven days, I believe, have had a 75% or better. I've been 75% or better on my props. The record for it, five out of the last seven days, I believe. So, also a 5 and 1 run for NFL been doing really, really good with the NBA, and I'm feeling really good about these two plays that I'm giving you guys today. So make sure you tail turn risk, looking at these a little bit more on your own. I should have also a second video up today. Make sure you subscribe and have those post notifications on and leave a like on the video, but have those post notifications on so you do not miss future uploads because I have a second video likely coming today. If you're not on prize picks, just download the app off the app store and use my code DUMG to get you a 100% deposit match up to $100. So if you are interested in joining, link is in my description or just download the app off the app store and then use my code DUMG. Let's hop in and talk about these player props here. But one final thing. If you do want to see everything that I am playing tonight, the Patreon is available. Link is down in my description below. I have over 600 members now on my Patreon. And again, five out of the last seven days, have been, I've been, I believe, 75% or better. We were, I believe, four and one yesterday. Really, really close. Would have had over $500 in W's last night if Claxton did dig over his rebounds, but he was the only one that stole me last night, four and one. But anyways, here's the full breakdown of the Patreon. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below, so check it out. So link is in my description if you want to join me and 600 other people that are in that Patreon. But now let's dive in and take a look at these player props here. First off here, let's start out with the prize picks exclusive. This is uh, technically only on prize picks. I'll give you guys somewhat of an alternative, but uh, the second play that I post will be available pretty much everywhere. Other player prop sites, it should be available literally everywhere. So let's go ahead though and talk about the first one first. This is gonna be pretty much just on prize picks. I love this category. There's so much value on prize picks with this NBA first half tab. There's points, there's PRA and fantasy score for the first half. So again, I'm using my description if you wanna join prize picks and get in on some of this value because I'm loving this spot right here. We're gonna scroll down just a little bit here to the 76ers game and I like Yul Embiid over 16.5 first half points. It's a really steep number, but I really like this matchup against the Sacramento Kings. Also, James Harden, may not play in this one, yet he's still on the board here at 16 and a half. He hasn't really moved up. It's a two-point spread with a 235 over-under. Very, very nice over-under for the 76ers right here. Kings, fast-paced team. will be on the road going to Sacramento. He already faced Sacramento this season, by the way, and he dropped 21 on them in the first half. 18 minutes, 21 points right there in that game. Potentially no James Harden in this one. That would be pretty huge. Uh, so let's go ahead, though, and go to the center here and see how the uh, Kings are actually matching up against the center. So the single round of Kings, kind of right in the middle, around 20, uh, I'm sorry, 21 0.79 points per game to the center. And in the last seven games here, the Kings are actually allowing still a, quite a lot of points, man. 24.42 points per game to the center. DeMontis, I love you, but uh, just play pretty... Uh Play, play pretty light on your defense today, if you will, uh, for me, DeMontis. But uh, I'm liking the spot right here for Yul Embiid. That's just really a couple of reasons why. I'm going to dive into this a little bit more, though, still. So he's a minus 125, I believe, to go over 33 and a half full game points. I do like his full game points, but I'm loving the first half a lot more, man. I really do like the first half. He just has a better hit rate, I believe, with his first half points. He's actually moved up to 34 and a half on some sites. Otherwise, he's still like a minus 125 to go over 33 and a half. And again, if Harden does not play, should be kind of a boost to Embiid right, right here. But he's been over this in eight out of his last 10 games too. Eight of his last 10, he has been over this. His only two games where he's gone under in his last 10 were both against OKC. It was the same team and OKC just got the best of him. He fouled out in one of those games pretty much, fouled out of the first half. He only he had only 10 minutes and four fouls in that one. He probably could have gone over. He got another seven points in about seven more minutes. So otherwise, I really do like Embiid here. I don't think he should see too much trouble against DeMonta Sabonis. I could be wrong about that, but I don't really think he's going to draw too many fouls. Uh, he did have two fouls last time he played them, but he still shot 60%, 11 free throw attempts right there and 21 points. So I like the spot a lot here for MB. Just a couple reasons why, but make sure you tail drawn risk and look at these a little bit more on your own. Always do your own research. Don't go just off of some random guy on YouTube. Always look into these a little bit more on your own. Uh, so let's go though and talk about his second player prop here. And that's going to go ahead and be in the PRA category. And this video, or this game right here is going to be like very, very soon here. So I'm going to give this video up as soon as I possibly we can because that is going to be Marcus Smart over 23.5 PRA and there's a couple different reasons for this. I've seen a lot of people on Marcus Smart today and I'm one of those people man. I love him for literally everything today. His points, his assists, his PRA, his points plus assists. I like it all man. Not really the biggest fan of his rebounds but I think there is a pretty big upside without Tatum in this one for his rebounds. He's just been a really good rebounder without Tatum but normally I probably would have ran his points plus assists but I'm going with the PRA here 
and kind of risking it for the biscuit, hoping he, hoping he grabs at least four rebounds in this one. But it's a one point spread and a 225 and a half over under. No Jason Tatum. How we, how has he been without Jason Tatum? Let's take a look at this here. So without Jason Tatum uh, this season, he's been over in twice in both of the games. Washington, who was a tougher matchup. Orlando was not a slouchy year matchup too against the point guard. So both those games this season, he had, he's had 25 and 29. He's also been over this in every game last season. He's been over in every game last season. He had 36, 31, 42, and 37 in four games last season without Jason Tatum. He's been over in six straight without Jason Tatum right there. So, and that's just the past two seasons. He's already faced the Raptors this season with Jason Tatum and still dropped 28 PRA in 39 minutes. So a lot of upside I see right here for Marcus Smart going up against the Raptors. Marcus Smart is actually in my Hall of Fame. I love Marcus Smart. He's catching me plenty and plenty of times with like Jalen Brown out. He cashed me out, I think, every single day when Jalen Brown was out. So I love Marcus Smart. This matchup is not going to be anything too crazy. It's not going to be super tough. It won't be super easy as well, I don't think. Uh, if you take a look how the Raptors are, they're kind of limiting the rebounds this season, but kind of right in the middle of the pack with the points and same with the rebound or the uh, assists right there. Last seven games, though, I believe they have been pretty damn good, allowing 28.19 points per game. Still pretty weak on the rebounds right there, 4.72. That's a little bit of a tougher matchup. Assists is kind of right in the middle of the pack right there, but they're actually allowing the third most points per game to the point guard in the last seven games. So we've been really, really slouching on that defense to the point guard. Fred Van Vliet, man, got to step up your defense, but hopefully not today against Marcus Smart. So I really like the matchup right here. I really love how this game should play out with the low spread and the uh, over-under right there, 225. I don't think that's too terrible. Let's take a look at the odds if you are on a sports book because this is pretty much available everywhere. It uh, should be on like every player prop site. It should be on like sports book. should be pretty much everywhere. I look at on prize picks though. I'm playing is over and I'm pairing him personally with that Embiid play. So he's actually moved up to 24 and a half on FanDuel, still favored over. Uh, but always he's a minus 145 right there on some sites. 24 and a half right there. 23 and a half right here though over on DK. So minus 125 to go over um, the 23 and a half. I like that spot over on DK. So uh, yeah, Marcus Smart over his 23 and a half PRA and Yolen Bede over his 16.5 first half points. Those are two props that I'm liking today. Make sure you check out all links down in my description below. The Patreon link is down in my description below. If you want to get in on that, uh, I believe, I again, I believe I've hit 75% or better in five out of my last seven days. So we had a really good week so far. Uh, five and one run for NFL two has been really, really good. And a seven and two run in these videos, I'm really hoping though that I can make this a nine and two run. That would be absolutely huge. Catch both of the plays yesterday, and I'm hoping we can do that yet again here. I'm really looking for a sweep, though. I want to get on a sweep. I'm so close to hitting a sweep, like over on the Patreon. It's just been those one lost days. One guy keeps selling me every time. I did get a sweep last week, though. I did get one sweep. I will say. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the sweep is pretty sweet, though. Four games, five games, six games, uh, eight games. I believe we have today. So. Got one play for the late game right there that I showed you guys with Embiid. If Harden does not play, that should be really, really good. Uh, we actually take a look at his uh, game log right here. No, I'm not going to pull that up. Uh, but otherwise, that's just really what I'm liking right there is uh, Marcus Smart and also Yo Embiid. Should have a part two video coming later today. Make sure you stick around and have those post notifications on so you do not miss that video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy NFL today too. NFL is coming up really, really soon. I have this game at 4.30 today. So hopefully you guys cash out in that. I'm really pulling for you guys here. And hopefully we can come back to that 9-2 and two run. Thank you guys for watching and sticking to the end of the video. Seriously, I appreciate it if you stick to the end of these videos. All the links are down in my description below. Subscribe, all that different stuff, and best of luck tonight. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.